Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. In today's video we're going to go through my 2021 yearly stats. Now this is kind of disorganized because I usually just log my stats via my bullet journal and I kind of just compiled them into a list so it might just be really really random as we go through it but I just kind of wanted to record my stats because why not and if you like stats videos then hopefully you'll enjoy this video um uh, maybe could suggest to me a better way of doing it for next year because it's just kind of all over the place I mean you'll see so let's start off with my goodreads goal which is primarily where I track my reading I tried to do storygraph for a little bit but I am a creature of habit I like familiar things so moving over there is kind of difficult for me so I just stuck with Goodreads just because it is simpler for me. So the way that my Goodreads goal works is that I don't like to put too much pressure on myself so I will set myself uh, what is a moderately low goal for me which is 60 at the start of the year and as I near that goal I get to about like 52 or something like that then I will hire the goal. So I went 60, 80, 100, 120, 135, 150, 160 and 175. And the number of books that I ended up reading throughout the year was 178. So I did actually surpass my goal but that was only because I stopped hiring it. I just always like to have something to aim for so I can see the how many books you are ahead or behind but I don't think I actually got behind at any point in the year. Not that I would know because at one point <laughs> I didn't write reviews and mark books as finished for about 30 books at a time and I was I was very behind and that was not a good time let's not repeat that this year. I am really happy reading 178 books it's actually the highest number of books that I've ever read in a year before and you know I'm, I'm super happy with that I don't know quite how I did it there were also some months where I read fewer books than I normally would you know maybe if a reading slump didn't hit then I could read more I don't know I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself I will read as many books as I read and I'm, I'm not too bothered about how many that I do read. As long as I'm still enjoying what I'm reading I'm happy. I took part in 13 readathons throughout the year which is probably quite a lot. I mean there were actually some months where I didn't take part in readathons so there were some months where I took part in multiple readathons but I do feel like they really help my reading so I'm not gonna aim to lower that next year I just feel like that was what I was in the mood to do at the time. So I'm going to do the same thing this year and just sort of take part in as many readathons as I want to but hopefully not overload myself. So let's look at the stats breakdown of the ratings that I gave the books that I read. So I actually only had one DNF for the entire year. Now there were definitely a couple more books that I could have DNF'd and I didn't but I actually only went nah I can't be bothered with one book and I feel a bit bad for that book because it wasn't as bad as some of the ones that I did actually finish but you know Oh well, say la vie. I actually only read seven one star books which in the grand scheme of things is not very many. Especially given some of the things that I am willing to read. I, I feel like that was actually quite good. I read 12 two star books which is probably a bit more like it. <laughs> they, they deserve to be two stars for one reason or another. And then we move into you know the more positive ratings. So for books that I rated three stars there were 50 of them and you know that uh, seems about right. Three stars is kind of my average, it was fine but it didn't really do anything special for me or it was good up until it wasn't and had a couple of problems with it so like ratings got knocked down and it was just average by the end. My biggest rating for the year was four stars and that was because I read 73 four star books. That's really good in the grand scheme of things. I am very impressed by the fact that I ended up liking so many of the books that I read. Yeah I can't complain about giving four stars. I can be quite a harsh critic when I want to be but also I can be quite lenient when something just hits the right place in my brain for what I'm reading at the time so you know don't take my ratings too seriously they are personal enjoyment and the negative ones come in when I actually find problems with the book. So then I read 30 five star books and I am happy with that. I wish that there had been more five star books because obviously you know I would love to have more five star books in my life but it, it just didn't happen. A lot of those five stars were rereads as well which is slightly annoying because I would like to obviously have had new five star reads but I didn't so what could you do? Nothing. So let's move on to which month I read the most in and which month I read the least in. So it turns out that my best reading month was October which was when the Get Graphic Readathon was running so I read a lot of graphic novels so obviously the numbers were quite high during October but I did also read quite a lot of big books during that month as well and my worst month was November immediately following that where I read only eight books which was quite low for me. I don't know if 
I just went off of that high of doing so many books in October and then I just ended up in a reading slump throughout November but I came back in December and read quite a lot of books so you know it just happened that way. So for a genre breakdown I read quite a lot of different genres but my top three genres were fantasy where I read 30 books so that is not including a breakdown of things like urban fantasy because I do mark that as a separate section but just like straight fantasy there were 30 of them and I think that that's pretty good. I always expect fantasy to be the number one genre that I read in a year. The next highest was kind of a surprise to me and that was romance slash smut and that was 26 books and I do blame the Ice Planet Barbarian series for that score because I just kept reading them and I read like 18 of them in one month and it was definitely the fault of that series. I just got sucked into like a hole and I just couldn't get out. And then my third most popular reading genre was horror which I'm really happy about because I started the year wanting to read more horror books and I definitely feel like I achieved that because I read 24 horror books throughout the year and I'm just I'm happy with that. I feel like I have started to progress down the horror genre route and I will keep going because I'm having fun. I also calculated the age ranges that I was reading because I was really interested to see uh, how many adult books I read versus how many YA books that I read and I think the split was a little bit different than I expected. I definitely read more adult books than I thought was going to and slightly fewer YA books and it turns out there's just like no point in me recording middle grade and children's except for the fact to say oh yeah there was a couple of books that you read there because they didn't really read very many. So it turns out I read 115 adult books, 60 YA books and three middle grades. I, I read no children's, children's aimed books during 2021. I also recorded the sort of length breakdown and format breakdown. So if I read something via audiobook and the length of the audiobook, if I read something physically which is either a physical book or an ebook but like I count it because I'm reading it with my eyes so that's that same type of reading for me and I recorded that on the number of pages in each book. I also recorded graphic novels, manga and short stories separately. So we'll start off with the audiobooks and I had three different sections for that. So the first is under 10 hours and I read 21 books that were under 10 hours. The next breakdown was between 10 hours and 20 hours which is sort of like an average sized audiobook and a lot of them sort of fit into this category and I read 42 books that were between 10 and 20 hours. And then the third audio breakdown is over 20 hours which is a bit chonky chonks and I only read five of them which I'm hoping to improve next year because I feel like I only really read chunky books via audio now so I think I should improve this score. I'd like to read at least 10 in this section next year but I mean who knows. So now we're moving on to the physical read it with my eyes kind of books. So the first category here is from zero to 250 pages and I read 18 books that fall in this category. A lot of them with that Ice Planet Barbarian series again. The next section is 250 to 350 pages and I read 21 books in that category. Then we have 350 to 500 pages so this is getting slightly bigger but not super chunky which I count as over 500 and I read 30 books in this category so I feel like that's that's pretty good. I obviously wasn't completely avoiding reading slightly larger books with my eyes so yeah. And the last breakdown here is over 500 pages and I actually read six books which is actually more than I read in the over 500-ish category for audiobooks. So I don't really know how that works because I, re I was really surprised by it because I really thought that I only really read big books audibly now and it turns out I don't. <laughs> so who knew? I read 24 graphic novels, 3 manga and 10 short stories. Again, Ice Planet Barbarians. That series really did a number on my stats this year but you know I'm you know I'm not complaining it's just that's why there's so many like things that there wouldn't normally be because I wouldn't normally read that many short stories and I feel like the Get Graphic Readathon definitely influenced my graphic novel score there because I read most of those during October. Again not complaining just sort of explains why the breakdown is as it is. So now let's talk about how many rereads I did this year. I started the year by saying that I wanted to do more rereads and I only did 16 which is actually far less than I thought I was going to. I really thought I was going to get further in my David Gemmell project and I didn't because I had like a weird mental block about actually editing the videos that I was filming along with them because I've been filming reviews of them so hopefully I can actually improve that 
during 2022 but yeah so I only ended up rereading 16 books which is very surprising to me. I also read nine intimidating reads and those are books that I <laughs> looked at on my shelves and went ah, hmm, I don't know if I want to read that because there's either hype or pressure or like I just have some weird block about them and I managed to read nine. I would have liked to have read ten but I am um, satisfied that I picked up any at all because obviously they intimidate me and you know that's you know <laughs> How many it's? I had 30 open series that I wanted to sort of continue with or finish and I actually managed to complete 10 of them which I think is you know all right. I, I will say that that is an okay sort of progress on it because a lot of them were either I would have had to start the series again to actually finish it because I'd kind of forgotten everything that had happened in them so there were a few of those. I would like to do 10 again throughout 2022 but who knows how that could go and that will all depend on what type of series that I'm reading and how long the series are but we'll see. Back to the David Gamble project which is obviously something I set myself. I wanted to get through the Draenei series throughout the last year and I obviously didn't. I only actually managed to get three reviews up on my channel. I did actually film a review for King Beyond the Gate, I just haven't managed to edit it yet. So technically I read four of the books but I only managed to get three reviews up which is really sad. <laughs> it's really not good. I'm really hoping that I can work on that this year and be a lot better with it. So hopefully I can improve that number. Obviously there are like 30 books that David Gimmel wrote so this project could be going on for a very very long time if I continue at the pace that I've been going at so I really need to like buck up here. So I just want to finish off this stats video by telling you the total number of pages that I read during 2021 and that was 57,964 pages which is a huge number of pages and far more than I expected it to be considering I did read quite a number of short books. The shortest of which was 48 pages and it was an Ice Planets Barbarians novella and the longest of which was The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson which was 700 181 pages. I'm very proud of myself for finally finishing the Mistborn trilogy. Honestly, finally, about time I got there. So yeah, my average of the year was 325 pages and I'm quite satisfied with that. That seems about right of like the sort of book that I pick up is, is around that, that length. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stats video. I have said a lot of numbers and my head is like, what? on numbers you do words <laughs> so i just kind of i have no idea what's going on now i think i broke myself uh yeah if you like stats videos let me know and let me know if there's a better way for me to deliver this to you next year because i will definitely listen to that rather than it being like a random pile of random and ooh, listen this video has been a lot for me so you know i hope you've enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye